Hello friends, this is Christopher Davis Shannon. Have you ever seen that video of Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr playing the old song, Ain't She Sweet? Did you ever wanna learn how to play it like that? That's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's start off with a play along, just get your hands around the chords, and then we'll address all that fancy strumming that George is doing in a few minutes. Many of you have probably never seen this style of playing before, but it's not something that Harrison came up with. These right hand techniques can be directly drawn back to George Formby, who is one of Harrison as well as McCartney's biggest influences. For those of you who don't know, George Formby was a vaudeville movie and banjolele star in the UK. He didn't have nearly as much popularity in the States, so if you grew up here like me, you probably don't know who he is unless you play ukulele. But all of these right hand techniques that Harrison is doing are taken right from Formby's playbook. And the thing that you need to know starting out is that there's really just two tricks here that Harrison is utilizing. So let's look at the first one. The first Formby trick that Harrison uses here is what's called the thumb roll triple. And it sounds like this. See, so I'm playing three notes, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is a way of applying an eighth note triplet or putting three notes in the span of one beat on this instrument. And I'm going to link to an entire lesson I did on triplets in and of themselves, different ways to play them. And this is a great technique to know, even outside of the Formby style, this is one that's used quite frequently in a lot of different styles of music. So logistically what's happening here, is we're gonna come down with the index finger, then down with the thumb, and up with the first finger. So it's a three stroke roll, thumb roll triple, down, down, up. So do this with the index, thumb, up, index, thumb, up, index, thumb, up, index, thumb, up, index, thumb, up. Good. Now I need to note that I am vastly exaggerating the motion that you need to do. You wanna keep things right here. See how you can barely see my hand doing anything? That's how we need it to be. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this C, and we're always going to precede these triplets with an upstroke. It's always gonna be an upstroke. So we're actually gonna play four beats on C. Two, three, four, up triplet. Two, three, four, one. Now go to that A flat seventh, just like we do in the song, but we're changing where we're actually placing it so that we can practice. So again, it's going to be one, down, 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 up, triple it, down, 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 and join in, down, 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 up, triple it, down, down, down. Now, this is gonna feel awkward if you've never done this before, but this is really the first trick that you need to know to get started playing in this style. And you hear this throughout the recording. And don't worry, I'm gonna do a slow version of this at the very end so you can watch my hand and see where all of these drop in. So in the beginning, it's gonna sound like this. All right, so those triplets are usually coming on beat one or beat three. So you can practice this just without all the chord changes in there. Practice this. Now let's look at the second trick. 
The second trick that Harrison uses is what's called the split stroke. And this is what Formby was best known for. It sounds something like this. It happens right in the beginning. Now, if you're playing low G, it's not gonna sound very good. This very much relies on high G tuning. So we have moving melody notes on the outer two strings. But throughout this piece, there are a lot of different split stroke variations that form be used, but Harrison only uses one. So if you learn this one measure, you have all of the split strokes that you need for the entire song. And it goes like this. It goes down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That's all we need. Now let's do it very slowly and then we're gonna talk about logistically kind of what's going on here. But I just wanna practice that, that strumming pattern with you. So say it with me. It's gonna be down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That doesn't quite sound like we want, right? <laughs> now the reality here is that we're actually isolating these outer strings. So we're gonna have down up, but then any time that we come up, we're just gonna do our best to only hit the A string. When we have those groupings of double down notes, the first one, we're just gonna bounce off the G string. So actually it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be strum, A string, G string, strum, A string, G string, strum up, right? And that's what's gonna give us our sound because we actually have these individual notes. So if you learn that strumming pattern, that's all you really need. That's the fancy strumming right there. So let's do just a slowed down version of this that you can keep coming back to, to pick apart these strums and see where they come up in the piece. If you like this style of playing, I actually wrote an entire book on George Formby and how to play like him. And I'm going to link to the video series that goes along with that here. If you want to dive further into this or even just practice these split strokes and these triples that we were just talking about, this is a great way to do it. This is not something that you're going to pick up overnight. It takes time. It's a style that most of us are not familiar with. If you want to dive deeper into this song, join me over on the Magic Ukulele Club on my website where we have an even longer lesson that goes into the harmony of this song as a swing tune. I'll see y'all next week. <laughs>